Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to introduce you to the Maxwell app, available for both Android and I iOS. It has some cool features that are not on any other mobile app that I know of, and the feature I'm going to show today isn't even possible on computers. Let's see how this could make your home search much easier. Let's get started. I'm Matthew Decard, a born and bred Caligarian that wants to share some of the amazing things about the place I call home. I wear my colors with pride, love the summer and the winter. I'm a road ready pro professional, not afraid to get my hands dirty or lend my tools and expertise to others. Let's have some fun. One of the stumbling blocks I've seen clients struggle with is choosing where to live. This often comes down to everyone's commute time. Let's say the husband works downtown. In the old days, I'll draw a circle, trying to guess how far, how many miles, he'd be willing to, to travel. Maybe the wife works in the D deep south. Less traffic, so maybe a bigger circle. And then I'll look for any overlap on the map. But this really wasn't accurate. Miles and times don't convert easily. And as you add in more variables like rush hour, traffic, or even kids that might be going to university next year, Sometimes it was tough to find the right area. How do you find the areas for a reasonable commute for everyone? It took the Maxwell app to, to solve it. Let me show you. Oh, before we start, you can get the app here. And you can also get the general Maxwell app, but it won't reach out to me directly. Da download it now. I'll wait. Now, let's open the app. You'll only see 75 listings displayed when you first open the app. It's a small screen. Don't worry, various filters and zooming in on areas will help you find other potential homes of interest. For now, click on the Commute tab. It looks like a sketch of a highway. Let's go through the, the same fictional family as earlier. You can either enter a physical address or the name of a place. I chose the Calgary Tower. Can't get more downtown than that. Naming helps as you add additional commutes. I chose a 30 minute drive time and by default, everyone drives. And the app gen generated a shape. It's an odd shape stretching out along, along the major routes. Some areas, even though they are close, can't be reached. The deep south has traffic challenges. Parts of the northeast with the airport runway limiting construction of some highways. I then decided to add the wife, and I chose a large employer in the Deep South, the South Campus Hospital, the big new one. The hospitals are open 24-7, so I chose a noon start time for her and shortened her drive to 25 minutes. Our fictional wife doesn't like driving as much. The software overlaid the areas, and now we see some area overlap. Now, let's add the kids who will be going to university next year. I chose 45 minutes, a later start time, and they take the bus. Now, things get interesting. There wasn't much overlap in the areas and be beyond a few square blocks. Well, we either need, need to hope the dream home is in one of these few blocks or we need to consider spending a few more minutes of travel time. So, I tweaked through the settings, adding five more minutes to everyone's commute. And, voila! Now we have entire areas to consider. Spend a minute here. See if these are areas you can see yourself living in. Just because the commuter is good doesn't necessarily mean it's where you want to live. Now, take the pencil tool. I select the overlap air areas on the map. Yes, I'm not good at drawing. No, art wasn't my favorite subject in school. I check list and up pop dozens of matching properties. But I don't think, think these quite match what everyone wants. Topping out at 3.5 million, yeah, a little bit out of budget. Add a price filter, add the bedrooms and bathrooms. It's getting better, but let's tweak some more. Maybe lower, lower the price again. You can continue changing until you start finding the right homes for your family. We have the option of looking as a list view and scrolling through them, or you can zoom in on the map. As you zoom into different areas, other possible listings will start to, to show. I also like this view as it allows me to consider the, the mall that is close by. Or imagine the family enjoying the park along the Elbow River. 
Select and property, a small pop-up will appear on the screen. Main picture, a couple of brief details. If you would like it, click on the pop-up. You'll be able to see additional pictures, all the DE details, and the neighborhood DE inscription. It's all here. And for the commute, scroll to the bottom of the neighborhood, and it will tell you the time for each member of your family. And if you want to ask me a question, or schedule a time for me to show it to you, it's super easy to reach out to me via the app. It's already open. Use it. This app rocks. While I tried hard before with my circles on a map, this is a much fuller experience, more robust than I could ever previously provide. There are a few other neat features hidden in this app, including MaxScan. I'll post another video covering MaxScan soon. Watch for it. If you like this video and want to learn more about Rio Lovo State, consider subscribing. I'm Matthew Dickert with Maxwell. I'm here to help, and thank you for watching.